Bye. All right, welcome back to another video. Uh, so today we are going to be finishing up, hopefully finishing up uh, the shooting functionality of our game. This is what we got right now. We spawn a ball whenever we click the shoot button. We stop moving. Uh, and that's it. Spawns it where the ball position is, which is where that uh, red and blue sphere is. When we hold down shoot, that blue sphere goes out. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch the ball from the red sphere to wherever the blue sphere is. And uh, the velocity at which the ball is launched is going to depend on the distance, uh, the amount of distance between the red and the blue sphere. So uh, let's get started. It's actually not that, not that much we need to do to make that work. Um, just we we just need a remote event to make it work. So that's what we need to do. We need to go to replicated storage and add a remote event. We're gonna call this shoot ball, and we will go to our player handler and on end we will say uh shoot ball well first we need to get a reference to our replicated storage Game dot replicated storage and uh, one for our event, our uh, shoot event. Shoot ball event is going to equal replicated storage dot shoot ball, and we will say here we'll say. Uh, shoot ball event. So yeah, shoot ball event colon fire server. Uh, we will pass through the ball position dot position and the shot aim dot position. We want to fire the server. And one thing I want to do is uh, I want to rename player handler. This doesn't matter at all, but just I just wanted to name it player manager. And we need to add a script uh, on the server side uh, to receive that event uh, to to uh, fire some logic whenever or run some logic whenever that event is fired. Uh, so we want to make this a normal script. Uh, I'm going to call it game manager. And in our game manager, we are going, in our game manager, we are going to get the replicated storage. And we are going to get uh, shoot ball event. It's going to equal to that plus shoot ball. All right. And all right. We will say shoot ball event dot on server event and we will connect a function and it receives the player automatically and we want to receive position one and position two and remember we're passing in uh the ball positions position and the uh, shot aims position so let's so in here is where we will shoot the ball. And we will do that by first getting a direction variable. And that will be position two minus position one. All right. Now we also want a duration variable. Uh, We'll default it to one and we need a 
local force variable. And force is going to be direction divided by duration plus vector three new zero workspace dot gravity. Then times duration times zero point five comma zero and then we need to get a reference to the ball ball and we will say ball no 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 that's not what we need to get Ooh, yeah, we need to find, we need to pass through the ball as well. Um, yeah, pass through the ball. So we will say it should be the new ball. So now we're passing through the new ball. Uh, passing through the new ball on the event. We'll just call it ball. And then here we can say ball dot assembly linear velocity. Assembly linear velocity. Just making sure I'm spelling it correctly. Equals force. And I believe that's it. I'm, I'm just going to run it instead of trying to, you know, run through everything again in my head. Let's just see if it's working by any chance. Attempt to index nil with assembly linear velocity. At least that means it's running the events getting fired and receiving uh it might just be the ball um all right here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say new ball dot name equals new ball wait no equals new ball and back in the game manager uh, we are going to not get the ball here, but we are going to get it here. We're going to say local ball equals workspace dot new ball. And we'll say ball. Now let's try that. New ball is not a valid member of workspace. Okay. Uh, so it says it's not a valid member of workspace. Let's uh, make it wait. Let's see if that works. Wait for child new ball. So that's not working. Workspace dot uh, new ball. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's get rid of this. And in the player manager, we need to get rid of that. All right, let's try it now. There is new ball right, right there. New ball is not a valid member of workspace. Workspace. The hell you say? Oh, let's see. Oh man. 
Okay, so I think what's happening is it's uh, making the ball on the on the client, but not on the server. So like in our player manager, what we got? We got right here. This needs to be. This needs to be. We need to make another remote event, and we need to name it spawn ball all right and then up here we need to get a reference to it local spawn ball event Oops. that uh spawn ball and here all right we're gonna write it before we remove it um we need to say spawn ball event uh, dot fire fire server and we want to pass through uh, the position of the ball uh, which we want to be the ball position dot position Okay, and uh, that might be it. All right, and we're gonna come over to Game Manager, and up here, we are going to say uh, we're gonna get a reference to um, the spawn ball event. It's gonna equal rs dot spawn ball. And we will say uh, spawn ball event dot on server event connect function. And what do we pass through? We pass through in a position of the ball. Uh, first, we need to do player. And we will, we will go back and grab these. Uh, lines of code we will paste them in here uh, yeah let's make a local new ball in here you know I guess we could just say ball we could just say ball right no no, okay, we, we, we need to get a reference to the ball that we're going to clone. Uh, equals workspace dot ball. And then we'll do a new ball. Equals uh, nil. And we'll say new ball equals ball clone. New ball parent equals workspace. New ball position equals... Uh, it should just be position, P-O-S because we already passed through the dot position. Uh, anchored equals false, name equals new ball. Um, you know, we probably don't even need to do that anymore. Oh, sweet, and then down here, we can just say new ball. Um, perfect. Love when it comes together like that. I think anyways, I think this should work. New ball dot assembly linear velocity equals force player manager. We can get rid of this. Um, we can also get rid of the whole new ball and and the ball uh, ball position shot aim run service shot timer. On ball event. Okay. All right. Let's just run it and see what happens. Hey, oh. There we go. 
All right. That's that's great. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I knew this I knew this was going to happen. Um if you hold it down, it doesn't shoot when it if you just keep holding it down and then it's all um But it is working. Like if you, as long as you let go right before it maxes out, what do we need to do? So we need to fix that. We need to fix it to where it launches, uh, right here, shooting. I think I think right here, shooting false. Yeah. We want to copy all of this. Put it right there. And then now it should shoot no matter what. There we go. I'm not sure if we want the ball uh, to be on the server like this because I mean, we could have like a hundred people in here shooting at a goal they're shooting at the goal at, at one time and that would be probably too much for the server uh to be keeping track of every single ball and the physics of all that so we probably want that to be run on the client's end uh so yeah let's uh let's try that really really quick uh we'll probably make it smoother and a whole lot better anyways so let's Common out this and let's common out that and that. And so we want to go back to our game manager and we just want to copy the logic of this shoot ball event and come back over here to shoot ball paste it in uh so position two hmm okay so it's position two which was uh shot aim dot position so shot aim dot position and ball position dot position Duration one four equals direction divided by duration times duration and then we gotta put the new ball back in. Gotta get the ball and the new ball. Equal ball equals workspace dot ball local new ball equals nil and where was I? Down here. Yeah. So that's it for that. We need to copy it and paste the same exact thing over there. Now we need to go to the game manager and we need to copy the spawning of the ball and we need to put that right here. Uh, new ball position equals ball position uh, position. All right, now let's uh, see if that works. So we're actually not firing any remote events. Everything is being done on the client. I think that's how we want it for this game. Oh yeah. That's it's like a, a lot smoother too. All right, so yeah, that's how we want to do it. Ah, uh, we want to do. We want to get the local goal trigger equals workspace dot goal dot trigger 
and rid of that, that's confusing. Uh, we will say goal trigger dot touched connect function hit and we will say I think this one does have a like a process if not process then and we'll say if hit equals a uh, new ball equals new ball then uh, then we just want to say print ball hit gold trigger or the goal scored I hope this works Yes. All right, so yeah, we're gonna leave that. Uh, we're gonna do everything on the client side and uh, I think that's the best way to do this. It's gonna make for the best experience, uh, smoothest experience when uh, playing this game. Uh, it's it's noticeably better so we're gonna leave it like this uh, we're not going to remove the remote events uh, and the server scripts yet just because we might have to go back to that at some point i'm honestly not sure right now but right now it definitely plays better with it running on the client so uh, we're gonna end this video here uh yeah we're gonna keep making the shooting better and i will see you guys uh, in the next video Just Bye.